Hi, my name is Justin Cossidis. I'm a part of the 2018 vet class here at Texas A&M. According to my parents, they said that I started messing around with animals, trying to, you know, read heart rates and stuff like that when I was in kindergarten. But I was always said that I always wanted to be a vet since then. But I think when I really uh, started getting interested in, in becoming a vet was when I entered uh, junior high, when I started getting involved with FFA and 4-H. Uh, really starting to raise a lot of different types of animals and uh, that just really piqued my interest in, in vet medicine. My interest is definitely in large animal. I'm probably going to end up tracking mixed species, um, you know, just to have that different variety, give me a lot of different options in terms of, of jobs and, and things of that nature, but really my interest has always been large animal uh, growing up on a ranch and uh, really being involved with FFA and 4-H. I started shadowing uh, going into my freshman year of high school um, at a mixed practice back home under uh, my mentor, uh, Dr. David Heflin, and um, uh, also just shadowing at, at multiple vet clinics while I was here uh, in College Station, such as like the Brads Valley Equine Hospital uh, here at the Texas A&M uh, Large and Small Animal Hospitals and, uh, you know, several other like shelters and, and things of that nature as well, and also just really keeping involved with um, a lot of my large animal experience from back home, uh, really just practicing uh, the handling of them and, uh, and trying to, you know, just continue to, to grow my knowledge of those animals. My recommendation would be to start early, um, you know, really make sure that that's something that, that you're really passionate about and want to do uh, because it is a, a pretty long and, and hard road to get, you know, to to where most of the students in this class are. And uh, so it's really just, you know, really key to start early to, to really, you know, get the preparation and, and, you know, get your hours in early because as you get into college, it gets harder and harder to make time for that. Some of my uh, best experiences in vet school have been a lot of the wet labs that have been put on here, such as the EP wet lab, uh, where we were able to do a lot of um, hands-on practice, such as um, you know, watching some field anesthesia, working on dentistry with horses, and things of that nature. And then also the internal med wet lab, uh, we got to practice um, on a lot of uh, different large animal species for that lab, uh, such as doing CSF taps and um, a lot of other uh, useful tools that we're going to need down the road. So those have been some of the best ones. Other events, just like, um, you know, the vet school open house was a really fun experience, being able to to work with the youth that were coming in and uh, just really being being able to be a part of all that. In terms of studying and time management, it's it's mostly on, you know, making sure that you have enough time to get the things that you need to get done, but also not overworking yourself. Um, personally, I don't really study past midnight ever um, unless it's the night before a test and I just feel really um, not prepared for it, but you know, for the most part, I give myself a pretty strict cutoff. I give myself um, about an hour to, to two hours right after class, just to kind of, you know, tone down a little bit, get my mind off of things, and then get right back at it. And you know, just try not to overwhelm myself with studying, but but still give myself enough time to get everything done. We have actually a, a study room that that me and and three other. Uh, of the guys in our class that we get pretty much on an everyday basis. We usually have it from around 7 till midnight or so and and it's more of an independent study in the fact that you know we study on our own. We're not just continually group studying but um, if we ever have like a question on something that we don't understand you know we have three other people in the room that could, could potentially answer that question. Really I would just say um, just have fun with it. Um, you know, try not to overwhelm yourself with, with all the studying and things like that. Grades are going to come, the knowledge that you're going to need is going to come, but really just try to enjoy it as much as you can, even though it's sometimes it's pretty hard to enjoy it with all the tests and, and assignments that you'll have, but um, just really try to, you know, enjoy the, the little things in, in classes, you know, the things where professors try to make, you know, corny jokes or something like that to, to try and brighten up your day and really just, you know, get to know people. Um, you know, the friends that you'll make in vet school are, are completely amazing and just really, you know, give, it, give vet school a chance to, to really change your life. 
I hope all this information is helpful in some way or form. Good luck in your in your future studies, and if you know the veterinary path is is the one that's calling you, you know, just follow it and and best of luck with that.